last time we saw how I was surprised at being able to print a flexible part with no special changes to hardware or settings beyond removing retraction. This little test piece is virtually perfect and um, you know that was a big surprise. So this time round I wanted to do something more ambitious. Tinkercad is my modeling package of choice and I was able to use it um, to make this phone case for my ZTE Blade S6. I began printing inside the enclosure at 39 centigrade but noticed this was happening um, and then had a look at the filament feeder and saw the classic filament buckling problem. This is a little CPU fan, it's an axial fan or is it a radial fan? I don't know. It spews out cold air at the side here. Not a lot, it's 5 volts. Got it running from um, my bench power supply over here. But what I'm planning to do is perch it on top of the filament feeder uh, for the reason of keeping the filament cold as the stepper motor warms up. Because I think what's happening is as the print goes on uh, and depending on temperature the filament warms up and becomes more prone to kinking. To test the theory, I'm going to stick these sticky pads on the um, feeder block. And then we're just going to sit that on there. And that's right above the line of the filament. So you can see what I'm up to. I can feel cold air coming out of, cool air anyway, coming out of here and I'm hoping that that will prevent the kink which is characteristic of um, printing TPU. So with that filament cooler in place I'll kick off another print. It's on the very limit of what the bed can contain well at this point it's already much further than it was before with no sign of the problem well we're clearly in dog's dinner land now But we've got no uh, filament buckling in the in the feeder, so that thing there is doing all we could hope of it. We can't put the printer in the box to keep the temperature up and stop the buckling or the the, the bending, um, because then this um, filament cooler will just be circulating hot air and won't be effective. So we'll get the buckling. But I could use my um, PEI and glass um, build plate so that might be the next thing to do but I'm still going to keep it going to see if there are any more lessons to learn well I did keep it going and it eventually failed with the buckling of filament in the filament feeder um, but let's remember that this print is vastly longer than the previous one so I think there's quite a lot to the cooling um, idea and I've just done an experiment with some TPU filament in the fridge and when you take it out of the fridge, not the freezer, just the fridge, it's as stiff as PLA. The, the difference is astonishing. So I think there's some mileage in looking at um, refrigerating, cooling down the filament at the feeder. Um, anyway, um, I'll be looking into that in the future. So if you're interested in that, um, do, do subscribe. Um, in the meantime, I hope you found it interesting and thank you for watching.